1953 to 1956 is a collection of diary entries by the Polish writer Witold Gombrowicz. The diary entries were written over a period of three years and document the writer's personal reflections, observations, and experiences during that time. One of the most striking aspects of Zienik 1953-1956 is the intimacy of Gombrowicz's writing. The diary entries offer a glimpse into the writer's innermost thoughts and feelings, revealing a man who is deeply introspective and thoughtful. Throughout the diary, Gombrowicz grapples with a wide range of issues, from the nature of art and literature to the complexities of human relationships. One of the recurring themes in the diary is Gombrowicz's preoccupation with the idea of form. For Gombrowicz, form is a crucial aspect of both art and life. He writes about the importance of form in literature, arguing that it is the skeleton around which a work of art is built. At the same time, he also sees form as an essential part of human identity. In one entry, for example, he writes about how people often try to impose forms on themselves and others, shaping their personalities and behavior in accordance with society's expectations. Throughout the diary, Gombrowicz also reflects on the idea of authenticity. He sees authenticity as a rare and valuable quality, one that is often lacking in the modern world. He writes about the ways in which people try to project a false image of themselves to others, often at the cost of their own authenticity. At the same time, he also acknowledges the difficulty of being truly authentic, particularly in a world that is dominated by social conventions and norms. Another important theme in the diary is the relationship between the individual and society. Gombrowicz is deeply skeptical of society and its institutions, which he sees as stifling to individual freedom and creativity. He writes about the ways in which society tries to control and limit individuals, forcing them to conform to certain norms and expectations. At the same time, he also recognizes the importance of society in shaping individual identity, arguing that people cannot exist outside of social structures. One of the most interesting aspects of Zienik 1953-1956 is the way in which Gombrowicz blends the personal and the political. Although the diary is primarily a record of his own thoughts and experiences, it also reflects the larger political and social context of post-war Poland. Gombrowicz writes about the political situation in Poland at the time, expressing his frustration with the communist government and its attempts to control the cultural sphere. At the same time, he also reflects on the ways in which his own work is influenced by the social and political context in which it is created. Overall, Zienik 1953-1956 is a complex and thought-provoking work that offers a fascinating glimpse into the mind of one of Poland's greatest writers. Gombrowicz's writing is characterized by its intimacy, depth, and complexity, and his insights into the nature of art, society, and human identity are as relevant today as they were when he wrote them over half a century ago. Whether read as a literary work or as a historical document, Zienik 1953-1956 is a remarkable achievement that deserves to be read and studied by anyone interested in the complexities of the human condition.